populist Marie Le Pen takes the lead in French polls as the election approaches. That's right. You know this channel's been on it from day one. You knew three months before I flew to Magaluf, six months before I flew to Magaluf, six months, nine months before the Brexit vote, that we told you this country was going to Brexit. And then five months later after the Brexit vote, we told you that Hillary Clinton was a criminal. We did everything we could to expose her BS, backroom deals, WikiLeaks, and everything else she's done under the sun. Okay, for the Haiti kids that she screwed over, to the Benghazi stand down, to all the missile secrets and everything else, that lady's a damn criminal. Okay, to the drop box where private governments would drop money into her account, 300 million she's made as a public servant. Explain that one to me, Hillary. How do you go into office with not a penny to your name and come out 300 million pounds because you sold government secrets to foreign agencies and foreign governments from day one? You defended rape cases that you're husband, Bill, raped women and then you moved in there and attacked on them same women. That's it, yeah, see, that's why you didn't win the president election, Hillary. That's why you're not the new president, because no one's fallen for your BS anymore. You fall over and then you have your CNN, Clinton News Network come out and say, is Hillary Clinton here Alex Jones is causing some fear? And then she falls over and then you have Secret Service come out and said, yeah, she was chucked in the back of the van like a piece of meat. That's breaking news four months ago that this channel smashed. Okay, Infowars smashed it, Drudge smashed it, the real news outlets smashed it when Secret Service came out there and said, you know, she's not looking too well, she's on, she's having seizures, and then she was in a hospital tent with medics going in with body armor. I mean, that's not even rhetoric. We had the raw footage, and that's why she never won the election. And we're telling you right now that Marie Le Pen's going to smash the French elections, and we're telling you that Angela Merkel's going to be out of Germany, the, ADA, the AFD will probably be in. If not, it'll probably be somebody... You know, the, the new Merkel, but it doesn't matter. Populism's rising. Common sense is here now, ladies and gentlemen. You see that? You look out the window, you see it. You can almost smell freedom now. It's just everywhere you look. Italy wants their cultures back, their borders back, their law back, their membership fees back. God, they had that earthquake not too long ago. The EU was shouting for their membership payments. You think people want to stay in places like that? You look at Romania, Poland. How long do you reckon they're going to last when the bigger ones fully leave? When France and Netherlands and Britain leaves? You think Catalonia is going to stay in Spain? You think Greece and Portugal and all these other countries are going to stay in the EU while it's failing? No, I don't think so. You know, you dream Barroso and all you other communists and Russian people that flew off with all your stolen loot. You think that you're actually going to stop us? We've been under your boot a tyranny for a long, long time as you signed deals off, as you shipped our economies overseas, as you told us we're racist and evil. No more, ladies and gentlemen. This is the reverse. This is the awakening, the return of men. Okay? And this channel is just a beacon for people that want to know what's going on, that want to hear something different, to come to see it, to hear it, and then that's it, to research it yourself. I'm not here to make anybody a believer, but I'm here to tell you one of the biggest news outlets on the planet is telling you Marie Le Pen is going to be the next pr French pr PM. Okay? It's like, what, two, three months away, and she's boom in the lead. Of course she's in the lead. Of course Brexit was going to happen. Of course Donald Trump was going to win. Okay? The people, if you see BBC and ITV and CNN say, the Farage is bad, and the EU's good, and fluoride's good, and GMO's safe, it's all reversed. Okay? If you look at what they do, look at their history, look how they invert reality. is sickening because they do it with such skill, some of these reporters. But you know what? It doesn't take a lot of skill to tell the truth. It doesn't take a lot of skill to show people that 2 plus 2 equals 4. And that's why anybody can do this. Anybody can talk about a news article, show a little bit of the history, show the BBC, CNN when they're lying about a Russian report. So one minute the Russians were for Donald Trump and they were hacking Hillary. Next minute they have prostitute information on him. Yeah, that just doesn't fly, does it? Then you try and poison Roger Stone.